on New Year's Eve yes. in Cologne, Germany, and a number of other cities in Europe. That's right. Uh, some of these refugees, some of these Muslim men, and of course we're talking about men who come from very misogynistic cultures. Mm -hmm. Their cultures are not like ours. But there's been Muslims in Germany for a long time. But they're not, the ones that committed, they're not the ones that committed the crimes against the women. The, 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 the German it's Muslims the brand new it. ones. It was the it, but that's what I mean. So it's not just Muslims in, in, in and of itself. It's particular slices of. All right. Slices of Muslims. There you go. Welcome to Gimme Five. One thing about Bill Maher, he's never afraid to address and take head on the problem of radical Islamic terror and Sharia and the whole topic in general. And of course, specifically here on his show last weekend on HBO, he's talking about what happened New Year's Eve in Germany, where refugee men attacked German women uh, sexually uh, and in mass. And it's become quite a, quite a story. And we get reports that it's been even wider spread than we first thought. So here the conversation continues. I just want to make sure that you have a nuanced reading of the very rich Islamic tradition that oh, has its gangsters and has its magnificent people. Well, I, right. I think, but I don't care about the tradition as much as the present. I don't care about the tradition as much as the present. That is the key. People who bring up you know, crusades and this and that and, and 50 years ago, the JDL and blah. We're living today. We're dealing with what we're dealing with today. You know, you could go back to the Bible and say, oh, look at the, what the Bible says. Uh, you shall stone. By, but we don't. There's only one religion that still does. Today. Good point. Here's some more. Ralph Reed. It's starting to look like an offloading of a hooligan and a criminal element. And in some cases, terrorist sympathizers. And I think Angela Merkel taking 800,000 of these refugees without adequate vetting of who these people are is going to come back. It's not a criminal her. element. Right. Now you're going to hear Bill Moore pick up on that. We'll play that again. It's, and I don't want to scoop him here, but it's not a criminal element. It's more than a criminal element, says Bill Moore. And I tend to agree with him. Listen. It's not a criminal her. element unless you are prepared to indict the entire society as criminals. There is polling on this. Mm. A great many Muslims around the world are for Sharia law. You know what is in Sharia law, cutting off the hands for thievery, putting women to death for adultery, killing people for leaving the religion. Women are not equal citizens. That's true. Uh, these are not criminal activities in a Muslim society. These are activities. Very well said. Very well said. How do you argue with this? Well, I believe it's Ralph Reed here who's going to try, surprisingly, but watch. You really cannot indict uh, all peace-loving Muslims who subscribe to that religion because of the bad actions. I'm not indicting all of them. Absolutely not. It's, well, you're the saying problem is that you're indicting none of them. No. no we, we want to indict no. people who are That's not what I said. It, Bill, Bill yeah. that, that is not a fair okay. characterization of what I said at okay. all. All right, I, I want to ask one more thing before we run out of time. Because yes. it's a, Can I just add quickly? A, that's why when Donald Trump suggested a ban on all Muslims, which I do well, not that's support, wrong. but that's why his poll numbers went up 12 points. Yes, and you know what? That, he's he's a wrong. demagogue. Of course it's wrong, but it got closer. Ahead. But you know what? I agree, but it got closer to what people this is want. The one Trump's a de demagogue and a bigot for recognizing the very problem that Bill Maher has expressed and daring to suggest that we do something about it. I don't know how Bill Maher reconciles that, calling Trump a bigot for wanting to ban Muslims until we could figure this out, and at the same time, agree that the problem exists. So Maher wants to do nothing, and then to make it more confusing and more hypocritical, listen to this. This is the one issue the Democrats are going to lose the election on, because they have to choose between demagogue Donald Trump it might keep us and Hillary and Obama, who won't even say Same Islamic terrorism. terrorism. <laughs> Wow, we said No, it's not going to be Hillary. It's going to be Bernie Sanders. I need a drink. Well, let me ask you that. <laughs> don't, 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 Bernie don't Sanders. Okay. All right. So what is Bill Maher suggesting? First of all, Bernie Sanders will say it's global warming. But so what is Bill Maher suggesting? On one hand, he recognizes the problem. On the other hand, he calls Donald Trump a demagogue for wanting to ban Muslims coming into the country until we could figure it out. But he trashes Hillary and Sanders who say there is no problem with Muslims. So what's Maher's solution? What's Maher saying? He's somewhere in the middle, stuck in the middle with Mar. I don't know.